What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock mud farm. This farm works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on your phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. This farm can be used to easily get a lot of mud blocks. Mud blocks can be used to craft packed mud blocks. Either way, mud blocks can also be converted into clay blocks. Whenever clay blocks are broken, you get clay. Clay can be traded with villagers to get emeralds. To convert a mud block into clay, all you have to do is place the mud block on top of a block that has a dripstone below it. As you guys can see there, the mud block will eventually turn into a clay block. You can mine the clay block to get clay. For this farm, you'll need 4 chests, 3 hoppers, 17 redstone, 1 dispenser, 3 redstone torches, 1 redstone comparator, 1 redstone repeater, 10 pistons, 1 water bucket, about a stack of glass bottles, one glass block, and finally about half a stack of solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block that you want. A couple examples of solid blocks are smooth stone or cobblestone. The first step is to place three solid blocks like this. Now go to this side. Then place a redstone torch over here and a piston at this spot. Make sure that piston is facing this way. Then place two redstone over here. That piston will push dirt blocks over there. After you're done with that step, break this block. Then break these two blocks as well. Now break these four blocks. The next step is to place two chests over here. Now go to this side. Then crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. As you guys can see there, the nozzle of that hopper should be facing the chest. The next step is to place a solid block over here and a redstone comparator on top of it. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone comparator are facing this way. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing the redstone comparator. Then crouch down and place a dispenser over here. Make sure that dispenser is facing this way. Now crouch down and place a hopper over here. The nozzle of that hopper should be facing that dispenser. Then crouch down and place two chests over here. That hopper will funnel water bottles into that dispenser. That dispenser will dispense water bottles onto deer blocks to turn them into mud blocks. The next step is to go to this side. Now place a redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Then crouch down and place a solid block on the redstone repeater. Then place a solid block over here. Now place a redstone torch at the spot. Now place a glass block over here. Then place redstone at each of these spots. After you're done with that step, go to this side. Now open this hopper. Then place 41 glass bottles at this spot. Then place a block at each of these spots. It's important that you set up the hopper like that. By setting up that hopper and redstone system, glass bottles will get funneled into that chest. The next step is to place 10 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once you have placed those 10 blocks, place 9 pistons over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Make sure those pistons are facing this way. After you are done with that step, place 3 blocks over here. Then place 9 blocks over here. After you have placed those blocks, place 10 redstone over here. Then place 2 redstone over here. Now place a redstone torch at this spot. Whenever a block gets pushed over to this spot, the redstone torch will send a redstone signal to the pistons. That will cause them to extend their track to push the mud blocks over to that side. The next step is to break this block. Now place water over here. That water will allow you to easily fill glass bottles with water. The next step is to add water bottles to this chest. You can add any amount of water bottles you want, however, the more water bottles you add, the longer you'll be able to use this farm for before having to add more water bottles. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you've made this mud farm correctly. Over here, there should be that redstone and that piston. Over there, there should be that chest and that hopper. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing the dispenser. 
Over there, there should be a hopper that funnels towards that chest. Over there, there should be a hopper that funnels towards that redstone comparator. In the back, there should be this redstone. Over here, there should be this redstone. Finally, over here, there should be those pistons. How this farm works is, whenever you place a dirt block at that spot, the redstone torch will send a redstone signal to that piston. That will cause that piston to extend and retract. That will move the dirt block over there. The redstone torch will also send a redstone signal to that dispenser. That will cause the dispenser to dispense a water bottle on the dirt block. That will cause the dirt block to become a mud block. The empty glass bottle will then get funneled into that collection's chest. By the way, no water bottles will get funneled into that chest because there is this item sorter system. Only glass bottles will be able to go into this chest. That hopper will funnel more water bottles from that chest to that dispenser. As you place more dirt blocks, they will get converted into mud blocks and pushed over there. Whenever a mud block reaches that spot, the redstone torch will send a redstone signal to the pistons. That will cause the pistons to extend and retract. That will push a row of mud blocks over to that side. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first place a dirt block at this spot. As you guys can see here, that dirt block should get turned into a mud block. Then stand over here. Then place a dirt block at this spot. As you guys can see there, that dirt block should get turned into a mud block. You can continue placing more dirt blocks to get more mud blocks. If you ever notice dirt blocks stop turning into mud blocks, you'll need to add more water bottles to this farm. To usually do that, first open this chest. Then pick up these glass bottles. Now refill them with water over here. Then add them to this chest. This will funnel more water bottles into the dispenser. If you want to turn any dirt blocks over here into mud blocks, all you need to do is use water bottles on them. After you have added more water bottles to this chest, you should be able to use the farm again. As you guys can see there, you will now be able to get mud blocks. After you have placed 119 blocks in this farm, those pistons will no longer be able to push blocks over to that side. You will now need to break the mud blocks to be able to use the farm again. By the way, if you want to break the mud blocks more quickly, you can use a shovel. As you guys can see here, I was able to quickly and easily get a stack of 55 mud blocks. To get more mud blocks, you can place more dirt blocks over here. If this farm does not work for you, make sure you do not accidentally break that redstone. If you place too many blocks before mining them, that redstone can be broken. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bayrock mud farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.